Darren called me. He's uh, he's the guy in, in charge of uh, sheep and goats over at Oklahoma State or Stillwater. Right. About I'm gonna say a year and a half ago, uh, we went to their facility and helped them build new build, new pens on the outside, and we completely redesigned everything. Okay. The uh, um, I mean, the, the pens that were there were like built in the 40s. All right. And so, they're, you know, they're pretty bad shape. And uh, <clears throat> so we came in and we used our very similar materials. We do our continuous fence, you know, for the cattle out of. And we made gates and whatnot. And, uh, <clears throat> and so we did the outside first. Uh, we discovered uh, when we got to digging around that uh, there was actually cement okay. outside, um, and so we had to improvise uh, as far as putting the post in because we didn't want to dig or drill through the cement. Right. And uh, so, and you'll see on here where. But anyway, we made uh, uh, we put plate circles on the bottom of the post. Okay. And we good. yeah we used like a. Um, you know, like a healthy locking system. Okay. I, I don't remember the exact one that we used, but he wants to get um, the dividers for the inside of the barn built. Okay. And the issue is uh, he wants these gates to adjust up and down um, as uh, hay and stuff builds up inside the pens yeah uh, rather than having to constantly clean them out um, they actually raise where the gate hinges okay so I mean there could be two feet of crap on the floor right and, and they just want to be able to raise the gate pin it and, that is. and keep using it yeah. and then when it got to a certain point they opened them all up went in there with skid steer loaders and cleaned it all out at once right <clears throat> and uh, uh, so we had to figure out how we were going to do that and to make matters a little more complicated they weren't all the same measurements right and, uh, and that's what we're doing today it's, it's and that's why we're here you're here um, because we're going to measure these ourselves uh, and not take anyone's word for it and make sure they're done right correctly and then you'll do the drawings, and uh, uh, and so each one there's it's going to be five dividers. Um, each one of them is going to be, you know, may just be a couple inches difference. Right. Uh, but then we'll build them, and uh, we'll bring them back out here. And Darren's got guys, you know, can weld it whatnot, so they'll install them. There, and you know, everybody that we do something custom for, there's an issue like that. Yeah. And uh, uh, quite frankly, you know, I, I enjoy solving those problems. I, I think you'll I think you'll find it pretty interesting how we uh, made this gate where it was adjustable. You know, it's not too complicated. It's still simple, but yeah. but uh, you can raise and lower it. They they had this stuff that's been out here since the '40s, yeah. and it was all ripply and, and bent up and stuff right. and the the challenge was uh, building something that was close enough together that the little baby lambs couldn't get through right. and uh, but if you try to do a picket it's so much more expensive uh, because I mean just think about it, all these had to be cut they all had that it, now it's got more material but it's also got 10 times labor mm -hmm. if you do a picket so we did this kind of like our continuous fence mm -hmm. and we just put them together but we have this spacing graduated mm -hmm. as you can see and so by the time the animals are big enough that they can look over this they're too big to go through it yep. this spacing at the top uh, what does this have nine rails or eight one two three four five six seven eight so as you can see the uh, uh, that's that concrete I told you we found. You can see the steel plates with the anchors in them. Mm -hmm. And then up against the building, 
so that we could get them close. Uh, you'll see that the, we cut the circle in half. They got half circles on them. Yeah. See that? And then uh, around these waters, they just cut the, the pipe. So where are we? Yeah, so yeah. So the water, yeah, it'll fit right over the, the water machine. And then all of these ends are gates. They all open up, swing out. Okay. And then there's a gate at the, at the end of every one of these so they can open it completely up, you know, bring, bring them through. But when you open one and you swing it th that way, you block it, but you know, anyway, you'll see. All right, these are the gates that we, remember the drawing that we, I showed you? Now yeah. this, this was the pipe that was already here, okay? Uh, but the issue was, and there's one on that side too, but they're not all identical, right. the distance. Uh, we're gonna go down to the, the other end and we gotta look at the situation and see if this pipe exists down there. It may not, I mean, cause this is kinda like the outside used to be. Um, but see if these exist and, uh, and if they do, what we gotta do is take a very accurate measurement yeah. um, of each and every one of them. What I'll do, I'll draw them out on my pad here and number them and then uh, we'll measure then we'll build the gates to, to match the number but let's go take a look okay well hmm it's got some of them but not all of them okay well obviously we could duplicate what we did down there with this one but not on this one not all the way down yeah and the, uh, uh, we were using those, those posts to tie into, to make that adjustable up and down. And these aren't as long. Yeah, and they're, it's a different setup. So we gotta figure something out on how we're gonna do that. Um, I, I think what we ought to do is uh, probably do our measuring uh, get this thing exactly like it needs to be, you know, or like it is. Right. And then uh, uh, we can go, go back and uh, figure out some solutions. But I'll guarantee you these are set in cement. Yeah. This is all cement underneath this, just like that was outside when we first found them. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, remember down there, it was actually two gates that met in the center. Mm -hmm. So it'll fold back against the, the wall, so you can get inside there with a the skid steer and clean the whole thing out easily. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but why this setup is he can't do that. And I'm sure that's what he's, you know, he's wanting to make it where it'll work like that on both sides. You got your phone on you? Yeah. Why don't you uh, step in there and, and with, with the phone, let's take some pictures of this. Okay. Um, and then, you know, when we, we draw it up, believe me, we'll be referring back to those pictures. Right. West end of the barn, we had opposing posts that we can mount gates on, but we don't have them here. Uh, we have plenty of posts to work off of on that side, but not on this side. See what I mean? Yeah. Um, okay, we well, do a pin, a pin, a pin, a pin, oh, it might work. Let's see, you got an opposing post. So you got, that is a pin, okay? And then from here to where this stuff is, is a pin, you have an opposing post. So you go from this one to that, that one on the left that's not tied into right now. Yeah, now see, now there's an issue here. See that, see that post right right there, yeah. that one. You notice how it's leaning this way? Yeah. Well, that's not gonna let a gate uh, swing level on it. So I, I'm gonna have to depend that, that uh, Darren's got a way to straighten that up. You know, with a, pushing it with a skid steer or something. Straighten that thing up so that uh, it won't be crooked like that. Darren? Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, Bob, how are you? I'm good, I didn't interrupt you in the middle of something, did I? No, no, we, we started the weather show, but I'm, I'm good right now. 
what is what do you want to do differently? Um, so I, I really don't want to do anything different than what we put in that other side. Oh. I like it the way it is on that side. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go look at that again. So, so you ended up you didn't use any of the existing posts that were already in the building. You, no, we, I, I cut those off. Okay. All right. Perfect. I know exactly you what you did you now. Want that back? Cause I know where it's at. I do. Yeah, I got you. All right, sounds good. I will, uh, uh, if I get any more questions, I'll holler at you. And uh, so what he ended up doing, uh, he utilized this existing pipe on this one and he cut, cut off the large pipe that we had welded on there. Now let's see what he did here because this is a different size pot. Okay, here he spliced onto it yep. and extended out. Matter of fact, this this came from our place, mm -hmm. and uh, so he just cut this part off from there down and used this post to scab onto it. He probably uh, he didn't go over it very much, but he went over it a little bit. This one. He cut ours off totally and went to this because it was tall enough. Now let's look at what he did against that wall over there. We're gonna have a unique, an issue to overcome. You see these braces that he's got attached to, the... attached in to support this? Uh, I bet the reason he's done that is because that footing, mm -hmm. you know how footing will go down so deep and then it'll, you know, they'll, you know, where the actual trench was dug, the concrete spreads out. Yeah. So unless he wanted to jackhammer a bunch of cement, he's, he's only two foot deep right here. And so to support that post, he's scabbed onto this existing metal frame. To keep from yeah, to do that. yeah, but we need to make sure that this exists on the other side. Because if it doesn't, we got another problem to figure yeah. out. On that side, we need to figure out which ones don't need an extension. And we need to figure out which ones do need an extension. You know what I'm saying, where he's added on to it? Yeah. And then on this side, we need to go, see he's got the big post on every one of these. Yeah. But we need to go over there and see if there's anything for him to weld onto to give him more structural support. Right. They may not. He, do, he doesn't have, the metal bracings that that other side had here. It's all wood, brick, but he's got these posts already in the ground. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know, on how he scabbed onto those posts on the other side and lengthened them, mm -hmm. he could do the same thing here. And but I'm gonna call and ask him. You got a minute? Okay, what you're looking at in that picture are the uh, posts on the, up next to the doors that go outside. Um, you know, I noticed in the other barn where those existing posts were too short, you just extended them. Um, were you thinking about doing something like that on this end? You are gonna get rid of them? Oh, did they? The big pipe? Okay, but, but this time you don't want me to have it already attached, is, is that? Okay, okay, I got you. And then on, the, uh, on the, the, the north end of these gates, will you mount them just like you did over there? I mean, you had some tall ones that you utilized and you took off, huh? Okay. Okay, all right, I think I got it. All right, buddy, thank you, sir. Bye-bye, bye. He's gonna take these posts out. He doesn't trust them. And so he's going to uh, uh, put some big pipe posts just like he did over there. Mm -hmm. He wants to supply the pipe, but don't weld it to the apparatus. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. When you get ready to draw this, see this drawing shows us all welded together as mm -hmm. one unit. 
you won't weld this big pipe, we'll so fabricate the slide and let him weld it up. Right. Okay? And then that's what he's going to do on this end. On this end, it'd be exactly like he did over there. That one's tall enough, you don't need to add on to it. Right. That one's not, he'll be adding on to it. Yeah. So we got to, uh, what I'm going to do is, is get my, uh, my little drawing tablet. I'm going to draw this thing out, not to scale, right. but, but at least I'll number these. And then I'll indicate where the short posts are, where the long posts are so that you know, we can make sure we provide the material that he needs. Sound like a plan? Yes, sir. All right, let me find that. <clears throat> Way with all the posts down here, then, uh, and I think, I think these posts are up against the concrete. We'll just have to look and see. But we'll measure uh, the length of each of these tangents right here. Right. Okay? And then I also want to measure the width of each of these. So we'll go down this wall and we'll go down this wall because this post here may not be lined up perfectly. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if there's going to be a problem, I want to know about it now. 27, Do what? 21. 21 even? Yeah. 16, four and a half? Yeah. Two and a half. 12 feet, two and one half inches? 12 feet, two inches. Yes. The side of the post up here to the wall mm -hmm. on the south end. Inside of the post to the wall, I made a note right there. Okay, here we measured from the center of post to the center of post, in that case, the wall. Yeah. Okay. Um, those up arrows, those are the three posts that, that, need to that need to add on. These that aren't, they're already long enough. Mm -hmm. Down here, He's going to put his, his own post mechanism in. So we're going to come off, we're measuring off the wall. We're not measuring off of a post. Right. And, uh, but I'll tell you what we probably should do. Uh, let's go back to the first side and let's take a picture mm -hmm. of how he did that and measure that post off the wall. Okay. Okay. Like ninety-seven and a half. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. Fix it and turn this baby over to you. First of all, remember I drew this upside down. Didn't do it on purpose. It was just okay. handy. So this is the north. So I got the north pointing up. Yep. This is the south outside. Okay. So that makes that east and that's west. Right. Okay. Uh, let's give him a an overall plat view, like uh, something similar to this mm -hmm. when we did the outside, uh, and put the dimensions in. Okay. Okay. And then when you come to the the actual divider gates, mm -hmm. um, let's find you know these prints here. Hopefully we can find them. Uh, we're going to adjust the links. You know, we're gonna make, we're gonna figure out if he puts a post on the south end in the ground, however he does it, right. um, it's gonna be a four and a half OD post. We're gonna figure out, uh, you know, how long the actual gate part needs to be right. for these two, for them to meet exactly in the middle. And uh, now down, down here, this see this bracket that's in brown? Yes. That the uh, gate slides up and down on? Mm -hmm. uh, last time we shipped this all together. This one unit. And I think it was cumbersome for him. I was trying to make it easier for him, but I think it made it more cumbersome. So let's, uh, uh, let's figure out how we're, we're, we're gonna ship that separately. Okay. Uh, but, you know, so either we gotta leave this, this, uh, piece of pipe off or this piece of pipe off so you can slide it in there and mount it but that's going to make mounting a lot easier for them. Right. so uh but anyway if you have any questions get back to me but I, I think that's that's it you know here's the detail on uh on how to adjust and whatnot and he, he seems really just tickled to death with that
So if you run into anything else, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I think he's pretty anxious to get this going. So get the prints ready and we'll uh, go over me one more time. I'll send it to him, you know, get his approval on it. And then uh, we'll give it to Eric to do the shop and get it built. Sound like a plan? Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Sounds good. Talk at you later. I cry and sing the blues Nothing else I'd rather do Than be helpless in 